Hey guys, Mr. Klein here, and I'm standing on the edge of a bluff. This is really weird because I'm in South Louisiana between Lafayette and St. Martinville. We're not supposed to have cliffs and bluffs like this. It's all supposed to be flat like what you see behind me. This right here is a really important bluff line for what we will be discussing today. This is actually the Western Valley Wall of the Mississippi River Valley. Down there is as far west as the Mississippi River has traveled in the past tens of thousands of years. And it shows us that all the land this way was formed far more recently in the geologic past than what's right here. And we can confirm this through soil testing. And also whenever we look at the rock layers below, we can get far enough down and we can see where they matched up through relative age dating. Now today we're going to be looking at the characteristics of the historic river deltas that made up this deltaic plain of the Mississippi River, as well as what was left over from this geologic act. Essentially this region makes up everything between Baton Rouge and Lafayette from east to west and from about Baton Rouge southward to the Gulf. You can see these borders actually just by looking at the satellite imagery based on the changes in vegetation. The borders of the Mississippi River Valley are relatively high bluffs like here in Baton Rouge. At the old state capitol was actually built on the bluff and across the from across the street this bluff is actually pretty impressive. When looking at the deltaic plain you can see the natural levee spread over a relatively large area. So what you see here is actually this phenomenon. Natural levees are formed during major floods where rivers deposit sediment. Over time these sediments deposits form a barrier that limits the spread of future floods. You can see how high the river has flooded over geologic time by looking for the furthest levee from the river. Floodwaters never get past that point, so there's no natural levee formation. If you ever see a flat floodplain near a river, stand near the bank and look away from the river. What you'll see is that these levees will grow gradually. And this phenomenon is actually what we call ridge and swell topography. Southeast Louisiana was formed in the past 7,500 years as earth warmed from the last major ice age. Now over time, the Mississippi River moved laterally like a snaking fire hose, spreading sediment throughout the region and building land in the process. Geologists have identified five delta regions based on sediment samples and looking at the ridge and swale topography alongside bayous that are way larger than a lazy bayou could create by itself. And a lot of places like Wikipedia and even my Louisiana geography textbook back in 2004, you might see a listing of seven deltas. If you look at Roger T. Saucy encyclopedic work on the lower Mississippi River Valley, he even has the section where he explains the misconception that led to this incorrect levee count. I'll link the document back down in the show notes below. In order from oldest to youngest, the deltas are the Marigouin, the Teche, the St. Bernard, the Lafouche, and the Modern Delta. Now we're going to take a tour of these regions and look at some of their unique features. So let's go ahead and take a drive and let's go look. The oldest delta complex is the Marigouin Delta, which isn't exposed on the surface, but it's evident just below the surface behind me in Vermilion Bay in the Gulf of Mexico. Studying subsurface sediment showed definitive evidence for a delta. These locations are shown in nautical charts such as Ship Shoal, Tiger Shoal, and Trinity Shoal. Now from my research, the sea level at the time was up to 25 feet lower than it is now. So the sea level rise is responsible for burying this delta complex. The next delta to form was the Tesh Delta. This is the oldest delta you can actually see on the surface. It's the westernmost delta complex, and you can see a former channel in the form of Bayou Tesh right here. Bayou Tesh served as an important connection for shipping in the 1800s and actually until the 1900s, until the Atchafalaya Basin levees were built and the advent of trucking. At the time, the Mississippi Delta was being created, the the opposite side of the valley wall formed a very shallow estuary with depths like Vermilion Bay, which by the way is less than 3 meters or 10 feet deep. The next delta region on our tour is the St. Bernard Delta. Now the timing of this delta's initial formation varies depending on the model of sea level rise. However, by 1000 BCE, geologists agreed that sea levels had stabilized and the Mississippi River shifted from the western edge of the valley wall toward Lafayette and moved to the eastern edge, more toward Baton Rouge. Barrier islands were actually already present around New Orleans where I'm standing, but the land being built grew out from there. 
One major consequence of this delta was the creation of this, Lake Pontchartrain. Now, before it was formed, the North Shore, which you actually can't see because it's over the horizon, take that flat earthers, was on the Gulf of Mexico. But the building of sediment over time created this southern shoreline and closed in the lake. The land New Orleans sits on was created and its delta reached as far out as the Chandelure Islands east of Louisiana. Time to time, the portion of the Mississippi River would turn to the south this way instead of heading eastward into the St. Bernard Delta. About 2,000 years ago, the main channel and turned actually to the south on this spot right here to begin developing the Lafouche Delta. This spot where I'm standing until 1904, whenever Bayou Lafouche was cut off, would actually receive water from the Mississippi River during high waters. Now in this Delta, the Mississippi River managed to fill in the gap that was in between the Tesh and St. Bernard Deltas. The result of this is Louisiana now has its characteristic shoreline. This also includes the barrier islands such as Grand Isle, which is the only settled one left in the state. Finally, the modern Delta region began forming in the past 1,000 years, when the main flow of the Mississippi began to switch from Bayou Lafouche to the distributaries in the St. Bernard Delta region. And by 1400 CE, or less than 100 years before Europeans began exploring and colonizing the Western Hemisphere in force, the Mississippi changed its modern path to the Gulf. Unlike the other Delta formations, the modern Delta reaches the continental shelf, where the depth of the ocean increases dramatically. Instead of spreading out like the other Delta complexes, the sediment simply pours deep into the Gulf of Mexico, leaving the Delta much smaller and also way more vulnerable to erosion than it would otherwise be. And with that comes the end of our tour of the Mississippi River Deltas, as well as this series on the geography and geology of the Mississippi River in southern Louisiana. Now we've explored the old the river control structure. We've looked at the Morganza Spillway, all the way the channel switch would affect Louisiana, as well as the rest of the United States. And we've ended it here, looking at how these processes keep on occurring over geologic time. Now this series was actually born out of a curiosity of mine about the topic, and based on the feedback I've received and views from the videos on YouTube, it's apparently I'm not the only one who's interested. So if you're interested in the Bonnie Carey Spillway, well, don't worry, the spillway is closed at the moment, and one of these days, once the spillway is closed, I'm going to return and do another video on the structure itself. It's something that because of the floodwaters, I wasn't able to do at Morganza. So if you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, please consider liking the video. Also, if you want to see more contents like this, click on the subscribe button as well. And if you want to be informed of any time I release a new video, click on the bell icon. If you have any questions, put it in the comments below. And if as always, thanks for watching.